ժողովուրդ, կոմիակ պրգությունը, կո միասնագան ուժի մեջ է։ All over the world, you see Armenians united. United with one voice, with one cause, and one realization. The will of the Armenian people has always been and will always be determined by the Armenian people. And the will of the Artsakh people has always been and will always be determined by the people of Artsakh. All around the world, from Los Angeles to Yerevan, from New York to France, from Chicago to Sweden, from Toronto to Belgium, whether it be in fundraising efforts, political activism, or spreading awareness in the streets or via tweets, the ripple effect of our unity knows no bounds. If the united voices of the Armenian people, 11 million strong worldwide, has not been heard yet, then let me make it extremely clear. The Armenian people want peace. We want peace. We want peace. We want peace. same breath, it has also been made clear, Aliyev and Erdogan's terrorism and inhumanity knows no bounds. Since 1915, Turkey has not only committed war crimes against Armenians and other Christians, but has spent billions of dollars into its Turkish denial machine. With its cancerous oil money, every attempt has been made to rewrite history, to silence politicians, and to bury the Armenian people. But there is no PR or lobby firm who can ever be paid enough to cover your bloody hands. Erdogan! You have so much hate inside. You instill it in your nationalist ideology. Not only have you sponsored your puppet dictator Aliyev, represented by this very building, <laughs> to fully engage in offensive aggression against Artsakh, but you commit heinous war crimes every single day in the middle of a global pandemic. You target peaceful villages, schools, hospitals, which are nowhere near our military objects. You set our forests ablaze with chemical weapons. You mock at our pain and you show no remorse. We witness this hate and inhumanity now on the global stage as well. The parallels of ultra-nationalist marches in the streets during 1915 before the Armenian genocide was carried out can be seen today in the streets not only of Armenian communities within Turkey but throughout Europe. Just this week in France, hundreds 
of ultra-nationalist Turks flooded the streets into the night, flashing their gray wolf symbols, chanting hateful slogans to encourage harm to the Armenian people. We are living in the 21st century. Enough is enough. Stop the terror! Stop the terror! It has been over a month since you have been dropping cluster munitions endlessly on our civilians. It has been over a month that you have released jihadist mercenaries to do your evil bidding. It has been over a month you have been committing war crimes against Armenian prisoners of war and publishing propaganda while taking away your people's freedom of speech. Within this month, you showed unwillingness to, to cooperate with three ceasefire agreements, one of which brokered by the United States of America. Even the OSCE Mintz Group with blanket statements and false equivalence of aggression continues to give credence and positive reinforcement against the Armenian people, helping Azeri aggression with its position of neutrality. For every Armenian, it has been over one month of sleepless nights, waiting for any type of news. It has been over one month of reading the names of our fallen soldiers. Over one month of receiving threats in our private inboxes. Over one month of virtual silence from the international community. However, it has also been one month of peaceful Armenian resilience. From the front lines to the diaspora, with the many layers this war has unveiled, every Armenian around the world has heard and has answered the call. From doctors to journalists on the grounds, and from artists to activists in the diaspora, every effort, every breath, and every thought has been and continues to be a mobilizing force. In the homeland, children are singing and playing music on the streets to raise money. Youth, women, and elderly are baking bread and knitting camouflage to protect and feed our soldiers. Now, we even have our modern day Sosemites making their way to the front. In the diaspora and all around the world, the Armenian people peacefully closed down streets and freeways, peacefully held candlelight vigils for our fallen fedais, peacefully communicated and urged representatives in Congress and the Trump administration to recognize Artsakh, to sanction Turkey, and to sanction Azerbaijan. Yet, the American government continues to stay on the sidelines. With elections coming up this Tuesday, my fellow Armenians, our voices will be heard. Just this past week, Armenian youth held a week-long hunger strike upholding the ultimate commitment and demonstration of peace 
sacrificing their own health, comfort, and security. Ten of my AYF Ungers committed to starving themselves in an effort to bring attention to Artsakh and to end the deafening silence. What more proof and evidence is needed to show the violence and barbaric terrorism sponsored by Azerbaijan and Turkey? Erdogan and Aliyev both have public statements showing commitment to annihilate the Armenian people. Just as history seems to be rhyming once again, with the genocidal policies being carried out by Turkish and Azerbaijani nationalists, let me remind you, history is and will also rhyme with the unity, the resilience, and the strength of the historic and ancient Armenian people! From Haig Nahabed against Pel, from Vartan Mamigonian against Hazger, to our Telirians against the Talat Pashas. Throughout our history, our ancient history, this is not the first time we have been outnumbered. This is not the first time we have been outgunned. However, that resilient blood our past heroes held in their veins is the same blood that runs through our Armenian soldiers today. This may feel like a David versus Goliath battle, but let me remind you, let me reassure you of our victorious history, which will repeat once again. Try to destroy our churches and see if we will not have wedding ceremonies again. Try to destroy our maternity wards of our hospitals and see if we will not have children again. Try to bomb our schools and see if our youth will not learn again. Try to burn our forests and see if our roots will not grow new trees again. Try to threaten our resilience and see if we will not dance and sing again from our mountainous front lines to our diaspora. We are our mountains. We are one. We will always rebuild. See if we will not create a new, stronger, and better Armenia and Artsakh over and over and over and over again. Jean Hurtjan, Hachtelouk. <laughs>